the productivity of the river is the uh, submerged vegetation, and that's why we have such a diverse turtle population. Uh, so most of the turtles are uh, vegetarians, cooters, uh, the loggerhead musk, and omnivores. But I guess Eckerd College has been, since the early 70s, been studying turtles on the, on the Rainbow River with Dr. Meehlin. I guess when he started his master's work all the way to his PhD. My name is Max Carnes Mason. I'm president of the Herpetology Club at Eckerd College. Uh, today we did a turtle sampling. Uh, got 20, 30 volunteers out here today swimming through the river, uh, catching as many turtles as they can find, put all the turtles in a boat, bring them back, and collect scientific data on them so we can study growth rates in turtles and reproductive rates and stuff. Everybody should probably try to wear at least one glove and in addition to biting, these turtles will scratch you. So um, uh, <clears throat> gloves are a good idea. In terms of catching turtles, almost all these turtles you're going to catch by yourself, right? As soon as you see them, you have to swim really hard and grab them. But softshell turtles are different. Softshell turtles take a group of people. So when you see a softshell turtle, get your buddy to come with you and watch it and, and wait till the turtle stops and then try to swim down and catch it. But somebody needs to stay at the surface because if the person that goes to catch it misses it, they take off so fast that you have to be at the surface to follow it. You can't, you can't swim underwater and keep up with a softshell turtle. You can at the surface if you're a strong swimmer. And uh, we have about 40 or 50 softshell turtles marked and recaptures of those are really good because there are very few places where people are getting growth records of softshell turtles. You good, Frank? What? What are we supposed to leave them in the bag for? The little loggerhead that doesn't really matter because they can absorb oxygen through the skin. It's the it's the food. That needs to breathe a little bit. He's biting on little finger. Oh, that is cute. I'm gonna go catch one now. Okay. He's holding it right now. Okay. Whoa, grab that. Stop show! What's up, buddy? Nice. Look at, ooh, he is like. They got long necks. Doug cares. Okay. Okay. Um, where's he going? Right here. One, two, three. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God. Delicious. Got a little 
photograph for you. Thank 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 you
We've um, had a deal with uh, a vet in Dinellan, uh, a guy named Dave Kralovanek, um has agreed to x-ray turtles for the bargain price of $10 an x-ray. So what we do is to take the adult females of the different cooter species and then the adult females of uh, the musk turtles and, um, and get them x-rayed to see if they have eggs. Watch out for the puma. <laughs> Down the hall. Darkness. The darkness is air, oh, okay. and anything that's light colored is tissue or bone. So see how the tissue on the outside of the leg, mm -hmm. and then this is all bone right here. Yeah. I like the grin. Come on! All right, this, this guy's getting make me sad. Woo! Come on now. Go, go, go! No, don't worry! He's like, I'm gonna bite you before I leave. Dude, twice. All right, ladies. Can we get close to the water? Oh, they're going the wrong way. Right behind your hand. Yeah. Twice the way through this, it's like oh, yeah. turn around under the, under the dog. Get out of here. Come on, Justin, don't you want to feel like a... Oh, now he does. Oh, hello, you ready to go? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. One thing, she don't. Oh, wrong way, buddy. That one is over here. It's like, check me back. I like the right. All right, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Who wants to take the last one? Turtles are pretty cool. Much cooler than us. I love turtles because they're the closest thing to a zebra in the amphibian family, and uh, they both lay eggs. And I really wish I could lay eggs. And. Uh, you know they're they're fast swimmers and I'm I'm more of a slow swimmer and so I they give me something to like reach for and uh, and wish I could become. I just I really do like them. I think they're they're very smart animals. They live they live underwater but breathe air. That's pretty cool. Um, I've always wished I could live underwater and I breathe air. Um, so I feel like we have a lot in common. I have a hard exterior and a soft interior um, as well. And a lot of turtles, most turtles have the same. Um, alligators will also attack me 